Hello, this is Bern, and if you're unsure as to how a man feels about you, worry not because I'm about to demystify that on this video today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship that you crave and attract the kind of man you want without the need for gimmicks manipulation, texting techniques, secret pheromones, or any of that nonsense that doesn't really work long term. Now, today, I'll, I'm gonna share with you a concern and a fear that lots of women who reach out to me for help have. And it is, I'm connecting with this guy, does he like me, does he want me, how does he feel about me? And I'm gonna give you some guidelines to how you can discover that for yourself, but go beyond that, because how he feels about you, take your notepad, is only as important as to the bigger context of what you can do about it, right? Uh, you'll know more about what I mean, but you have to stay until the end to, to know this, okay? First thing that will let you know how he feels, feels about you is how curious and hungry is he to get to know you? Well, why is that important? Because if he's a conscious guy, if he's an intelligent guy, if he's curious to get to know you, he's not projecting the fantasy of who he thinks you are and treating you based on a caricature of yourself. He's treating you based on who you really are, but to know who you really are, he has to ask you questions, he has to be playful, he has to connect with you multiple times to understand what you really are about. So that's step number one. Is he curious and hungry to get to know you and understand the truth of your heart? Number two, does he light up when he sees you? When you're connecting, is he like, hey, how are you doing? Or do you see a visible, emotional change in his nervous system as a result of connecting with you? Does he get excited? Does he get happy? Does he light up in your presence? That's another cue that will let you know how he's feeling around you, your feminine energy, and your beauty and radiance. Number three, can he initiate? And does he find ways to spend time together? Because if he feels great about you, but he's not taking any, any actions about it, it's not as useful or helpful as if he lights up when he sees you, he's hungry to get to know you, and now he's starting to put in some of the work. The beginning of the work is spending more time with you, asking you out, initiating, not waiting for you to reach out first, but saying, I want to see you. Let's connect. Uh, there's this thing going on. Would you like to be there? Something of that nature. Number four, can he verbalize the way he feels about you? It's a cool thing that he starts showing you uh, some interest and curiosity and hunger. Can he say, I really like you? Can he say, you're so beautiful? Can he say, I'd love to spend more time with you? Can he say, I really want to get to know you? Can he say, oh my God, you're different from other women in this specific way? Can he say, you're amazing? Can he verbalize the way he's feeling about you? I'm not saying that if he doesn't verbalize it, he doesn't feel it. It's just more valuable to you if you can verbalize it because you're not trying to, you're not guessing, you know. Number five, super important. Now, it's valuable to have a guy who can verbalize it better than one who can't verbalize it or take action. But if he can verbalize it, number five is as his words followed by action. If a guy says you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, never asks you out, not necessarily in alignment one with the other. Maybe he's saying, uh, you are so different and unique and I feel so strongly about you, but doesn't show you in the way he shows up, then maybe he feels that way, but it's kind of worthless to you. <laughs> Number six, does he act generously in alignment with what is good for you? What that means is, is he respectful? Is he going by what not just his heart is feeling, but what's good for you? what's necessary for you, what makes you light up, what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel connected. Because if he's only acting based on his own instincts, you might feel excitement, but he's acting on his instincts, but also stopping to think, what does she want? What does she need? How can I add value to her life? Again, he shows you a different kind of feeling towards you, which is a respectful, conscious, loving, not just animalistic, I want to connect with her, but Ah, there's something more. Maybe we can create something together. Now, the first six steps are going to be necessary for you to understand if the guy is good for you. The reason why I ask you to stay until the end is because the next three will make or break your interaction with him. Here's what I mean. 
it's if, if a guy feels strongly about you, but he's going to a different planet than you're going to, uh, unless you're super young in your scope of life and you're not necessarily looking for something serious, then engage in it. But if, if you want something clear and you want to go to Jupiter, he's going to, I don't know, Earth, then that's a mismatch. So can he articulate his vision for the future as it relates to his own life, as it relates to a relationship life, what he's looking in a relationship, and even more important, as it relates to you. At the beginning, there's no way he can articulate his vision for you because he doesn't know you, so it would be projection at best, right? Fantasy at worst. But at the beginning of the relationship or throughout getting to know him, can he say, here's what I want in my life, here's what I'm going for, and here's what I want with a woman, here's what I want in a relationship, here's what I want or don't want regarding family. Now, when he says that, pay close attention if it's in alignment with, with where you're going. Number four, which is number eight, it's in alignment with yours, right? He wants these things. Okay, sit back and say, is that what I want? And if not, is it worth your time and energy to continue feeling attached to someone that's going to inevitably go on a different path and break your heart? Number nine, most important billion dollar question is, okay, he likes you, he's excited about you, he wants to pursue you, his actions are starting to play up in the sense that he's saying, I like you, and he's acting that way. He now has a vision for the future. The vision is in alignment with yours. Does he have the time, emotional space, and logistical capability to deliver in it? There's plenty of guys who have great wishes for life seven years from now, and you might be because you have less time than him to figure out your shit. Fortunately or unfortunately, that's the way it works for many women, right? Because if you want to have family, then you have to get your stuff together earlier on. And it might be a good thing. It may not end up being a bad thing. You might have more meaning in your life earlier on than he will, right? But since you don't have forever to figure out certain components of your life, if he's on a seven-year plan and you're on a one-year plan, then he cannot deliver on his vision in a timely fashion, in a way that will be beneficial to the long-term well-being of your life. So you have two decisions to make. Do I change the vision of my life or do I move on and continue with someone who has the Corleone to be able to follow through in action right now? Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel hit the little bell to be notified of new episodes. And most important of all, on the first link in the description of this video, you're going to find a link. When you enter that, click on that link, it's going to take you to a page where you can enter your name and email and be taken to a free masterclass that I created for you that will allow you to learn how you can step into the kind of relationship that you seek with a lot less pain in a lot less time than your current path. Thank you so much for connecting with me. If you feel like, you know what, videos are great, I want hand holding. For second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Big hug to you. Thank you for allowing me into your home and heart. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.